G'day YouTube, Jeremy from Oz here. So, the milling head of the Seag X3 is currently on the table here. I've just run the precision stones over the outside of the spindle. I have this indicator here, which is a two thousandth of a millimeter per graduation. And so the outside of that appears to sweep So that's 16, so it's 0 0.016 millimetres is the outside concentricity error. Alright, so now we're going to look at how far I can deflect at a given position. And that's looking pretty bloody good, really. I'm managing to deflect the spindle nose. Virtually nothing. So that tells me that that spindle's in really good shape there. Um, next, I could try and get a read on the inside here. Um, I should be able to get the nose around. I'll reposition and I'll do another read. So again, we've got a range of reading on the inside of the collet nose there. I'm going to go from 98 to 110. So that's 12, so it's 0.012 millimetres at the spindle. So that's, that's less than 0.02 millimetres. figure out what that is in tenths, but it's bees dick material. So I've now extended the quill to the full length of its travel. And it looks like we've got from about 86 through to So it's 0.02 of a millimeter. So even fully extended on this head, we have very little. Okay. Now I'm just trying to lift for some deflection readings. Now at the full extent, lifting the weight of this head, I'm able to deflect the end of the quill about six thousandths of a millimetre if that four thousandths maybe if I'm violent with it I can get to maybe ten thousandths of a millimetre which is a hundredth of a millimetre 
That's pretty crazy good, I think. So, notwithstanding a cleanup, the actual spindle itself looks to be pretty tight. There is some slight run out in the spindle. So the question would be, where's the run out? As I say, it's about 20 thousandths of a millimeter. Two hundredths of a millimeter. Is there anything worth worrying about? Would I do more or should I just get this thing running? Please give me some feedback. What do you reckon guys? So I've pulled the quill handle out. Actually there's an opening through here. I've just taken off the DRO face and So here we have one headstock, Seagex 3. Uh, I'll probably remove this gear, it's surplus to requirements. Although it is a cast iron head, then there's a really quite a nice fit the spindle. The wall thickness is also a fairly lightweight in this assembly. So one of the options might be to actually pack this thing in some concrete to give it a bit of extra grip. Over here we've got the rest of the bits. Doesn't look to be anywhere in any of these bits really. Um, it looks like Paul's really taken some pretty decent care of this thing as far as keeping it lubricated and well, at least wear on these parts. When we start to look at the dovetails and the X, Y and Z axis, then we'll start to maybe see a slightly different story. Neutral, I, low. surface block and see how square our spindle is to that. Finish and clean up. Spindle bearings feel really good actually. I don't know if there's much benefit in pulling them out. Maybe just pull it apart to clean it. Um, maybe see if I can get those tenth of a thou run out of the spindle out. Give us a comment, tell us what you reckon we should do. Should I go any further or just plenty of